Since the pastor shared everything about baptism, <laughs> let's just do an altar call and let's go home. How's that? Amen. Who said amen? <laughs> quick, uh, quick. But we are, we're talking about baptism, amen? Because yeah. it is a beautiful thing. And we are going to celebrate with those that get baptized this Sunday, amen? Right. Yeah. Let me get this situated here. Like Pastor said, we are getting baptized, right? We're having baptism this Sunday. Amen? Absolutely. So guess what we're going to talk about today? Come on. Tonight. Come on. We're going to talk about understanding water baptism. Right. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. I think Pastor's passage on Sunday set a tone for what's being taking place this coming Sunday. He talked about identity. Yes. Remember that? That was just Sunday, guys. You have to remember. Right. It was just Sunday. <laughs> Amen? Pastor said this. Your identity means more than what you can think. Right. Identity in Christ is a newness. We are a new creation. Yes, we are. We are members of a new family. That's right. Proverbs 22 verse 1 says this. That a good name is better to be chosen rather than riches. And how much more is that identity more meaningful that by getting baptized oh, in Christ's name. Yes. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We are called to get baptized because Christ got baptized. And he commanded us to do so. Understanding what water baptism is. Turn with me to the book of Matthew. That will be an opening scripture for tonight. Oh, come on. The book of Matthew, chapter, thir- uh, chapter 3, verse 13 to 15. And I'm reading out of the New King James Version. If you have a say, amen. If you're not, read, read the screen, amen. Oh, it's not up there? Not yet? Amen. The word of God says this. Then Jesus came to Galilee, from Galilee, to John at the, at the Jordan to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and you are coming to me. But Jesus said unto him, Permitted to be so now, for that it is fitting for us to fulfill our righteousness. Then he allowed him. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to come before you tonight, Lord. Yes. And I pray that it's you that speaks tonight, Father God. Father God, tonight, give us an understanding of what, what, what it's like to be water baptized, Lord God. Father, it is you, Father God, that we're here to glorify you. Let it be you. Let your spirit just move in a mighty way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Listen, for those of us that have been baptized already, should walk, breathe, and live like we have yes. been yes. baptized. Yes. It identifies us with Christ. Right. Our lives should be evidence that we have been baptized. Our lives should be evidence that we, we were buried, we buried the old, and resurrected the new Christ. Amen. Amen? Therefore, like Christ said, fulfilling all righteousness. And what is righteousness? And what is righteousness that he's referring to? That is the big old church, the big old obedience. He's talking about obedience. Amen? He was obedient when he was uh, baptized before us, man. He told us in John in, uh, in John in verse 15 of our text, saying, Permit it to be so now, for that it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Yes. And the act of obedience from a God without sin, who need not to be baptized. Amen. As believers, our outward appearance should reflect. The fact that you and I have been baptized. Yes. Yes. Watchman Nee said this. Baptism is an outward experience, uh, expression of an inward faith. Water baptism, baptism is an outward expression of an inward faith. You and I have been part in fulfilling our righteousness when we got baptized. Right. So let's get and understanding what water baptism is. What is water baptism? 
talking to those that are going to get baptized Sunday. And also to those of us that have been baptized before but forgot his meaning. Think about that, right? We forget, don't we, church? It's like we forget our, our, our wedding vows. Right? Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. Who, who, who? I don't remember agreeing till, till for, on this wedding vow. For better or for worse. I don't remember that. Amen? Really? For better or for worse? Really? Think about that. Tara and I agree on one thing when we got married. That we are going to be together till death do us apart. Why? Because getting married at our age is not going to take that long, church. Amen? It's not going to take that long. Amen? Love you, honey. How you doing? How you doing? Amen? We did. We, are, we always laughed about that even before we got married. Amen? It's not going to take that long, church. Amen? Listen. All you that have been married, you celebrate anniversaries. 10, 15, 20, 25 year anniversaries. Tara and I don't celebrate years. We celebrate months. <laughs> Think about that, amen? We're celebrating our 53rd oh, month wow. being married, amen? This is the don't know math. That's two, and, two years, five months. Come on. This coming 20, 22nd, amen? Listen, we forget about things. Forget about how important things are. And sometimes we forget the real meaning of being water baptized. Amen? So let's move on. You and I need to be reminded of the importance in water baptism. Baptism was not really a new thing to the, to the Jews. In the Old Testament, priests went through a washing of water that symbolizes of baptism. In Leviticus 6, 4, it says this. The priest is to put on a sacred linen tunic with linen under, undergarments next to his body. It is to be a linen, it is to be the linen sash around him and to put the linen turban on. Amen. They are sacred garments. So he, the priest, must bathe himself with water before he puts them on. That pictures our salvation. We are saved, we are baptized, and then we receive the righteousness of Christ attributed to us in our behalf. Amen? Amen. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says this, For he had made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God yes. in yes. him. Talking about Christ. Amen? In the days of the early New Testament church, one way, one of the ways one could be recognized as a believer was by water baptism. Water baptism symbolizes believers' total trust and total reliance on the Lord Jesus Christ. As well as a commitment to live obedience to, in obedience to him. There's a big O again, church. Obedience. Amen? It also expresses unity with all saints. Amen. That is with every person in every nation on earth who is a member of the body of Christ. Galatians 3, 27 to 28 says this. For as many of you as, as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male or female for you are all one in Christ. We get baptized because our Lord commanded it. In our opening scripture, Jesus said, permit it to be so now. For it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. And in Matthew 28 verse 19, Jesus gives his disciples the great commission. Which is what? Go therefore and make disciples. Of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Lord, in the, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. What a baptism is for believers. Amen? So before we are baptized, we must come to believe that we are sinners 
in need of salvation. Romans 3.23 says this, For we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We must also believe that Christ died on the cross to pay for our sins. That he was buried and that he was resurrected to assure our place in heaven. An unsaved person will not have and cannot, cannot, cannot have full understanding of what it means to be baptized. When we turn to Jesus, asking him to forgive our, our sins and, and be our savior, we are born again by the power of the Holy Spirit. At our, turn, our eternal salvation is guaranteed and we begin to die to ourselves to live for Christ. At that time, we are scripturally or biblically qualified to be baptized. We are talking about water baptism. Amen? Water baptism, water baptism is a beautiful pic picture of what our Lord has done for us. As we are completely immersed in the water, we, we symbolize burial with our Lord. And we are baptized into his death on the cross and are no longer slaves to self right. or sin. Romans, three, Romans 6, 3 to 7 says this. Do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by glory of the Father, even so we all, even so also we, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For we have been united together in the likeness of his death. Certainly we also should be in the likeness of his resurrection. Right. That's right. Knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him. That the body of sin might not might be done away with. Yeah. That we should no longer be slaves to sin. For he who has died has been free from sin. <laughs> Powerful, amen? Hallelujah. When we are raised out of the water, we are symbolically, symbolically resurrected. Raised to new life in Christ to be with him forever. Born into a family of our loving God. Romans 8.16 says this. The spirit himself bears witness with our, with our spirit that we are children yes, of God. Are. Yes, we are. Water baptism also illustrates the spiritual cleansing, cleansing we experience when we are saved. Just as, cleanse, uh, just as water cleanses the flesh, so the, so the spirit cleanses our hearts when we trust in Christ. Amen? Now let's be clear about this, church. Water baptiz baptism is not a prerequisite for salvation like some believe. Amen? Some people think that you have to be baptized in order to make it to heaven. And that is not. Biblical. Amen? What about tips, what, what a baptism conveys this and more, but it's not what we, what, it, but it's not what save us, saves us. Amen? Instead, we are saved by grace through faith, through faith, apart from works. Amen? Ephesians 2, verse 8 to 9, clearly tells us this. For by grace you have been saved through faith and not of yourself it is the gift of God not of works lest anyone should boast it's his doing not ours right the apostle Peter said this in his great Pentecost sermon repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ 
for the forgiveness of sin. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You find that in the book of Acts. They must repent, they must repent and believe. And then be baptized. But they are not baptized in order to be saved. But because they are saved. Think about that. Amen. Amen. We also clearly see this in the example of a saved man who was baptized in the water. In, in water. Who was baptized, who was not baptized in water. And that's that thing that Pastor was going to share about the thief on the cross. Amen. You find that in the book of Luke, chapter 23. This self confessed sinner acknowledged Jesus as his Lord while dying on the cross next to him. The thief asked for salvation and he was forgiving over his sins. Although he never experienced water baptism. Think about that, amen. At that moment, he was spiritually baptized into Christ's death. And he then was raised to eternal life by the power of Christ's word. Jesus said this, today you will be with me in paradise. Think about that, church. Imagine if it was a requisite to be baptized in water before going to heaven. He would have to ask a thief to get off the cross, get baptized, come back to the cross, and then join him in paradise. That's not biblical, church. We serve a merciful God. We serve a loving God. Amen. Listen, if you are born again and have, been, and have accepted Christ as his personal Lord and Savior, but you haven't been baptized, and let's say something happens, you pass away, God forbid, or better yet, the rapture happens. Amen. Come on now. Amen. And you haven't been baptized. Rest assured, church. Hallelujah. Rest assured. At that moment, you will be in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Why? Because you have believed in the only begotten Son yes. of God. Yes. That's how wonderful our God, our God. It's talking about the rapture, church. I shared this before. Whenever I use the rapture, I like to use it. Talking about, you know, you know it's biblical, right? The rapture is going to happen. Some people right. ask that, right? And I go, don't right. worry about the rapture. The rapture is going to happen. We don't know when. But it's going to happen. Worry about what's going to happen five minutes from now. <laughs> hey, we, five minutes from now is not promised. Right. Our hearts need to be ready. Yeah. Our hearts need to be ready, right? But let's say the rapture happens tonight. Let's say the rapture happens tonight, right? For the sake of a fight, and I shared this before, I think somebody's <laughs> going to remember this. For the sake of a fight and arguments, right? I want my Bible and my tablet. Amen. To stay with Sister Mona. You guys didn't get it, right? You guys didn't get it, right? <laughs> She's not here, right? She's not here? Good. She, she didn't hear. So don't tell her. I'm actually going to dedicate this to her right now. Just in case. You see, church? The thief on the cross, even though he found grace and favor with God before he died... He didn't get to experience what we experience, there it is. what we get to experience. Right. And that is publicly testifying our faith and trust on our Lord and Savior, yeah. Jesus Christ. He didn't get to experience that's right. what we have experienced and those that are going to get baptized right. will experience. And that's publicly testifying, right? right, in our Lord Jesus Christ. Publicly testifying of what God has done for us when we get water baptized. So in a nutshell, two things we need to remember about water baptism, what water baptism symbolizes. One, as we are lowered down into the water, we're identifying ourselves with Christ's death on our behalf. We are admitting that our sinful self is being put to death. And we, are, and we are declaring that Jesus has paid the penalty of death for us. Baptism points to a picture, a picture of sin being washed away through repentance. 
And number two, as we are raised out of the water, we are identifying ourselves with Jesus' resurrection, which brings us abundant eternal life. Furthermore, baptism displays our unity with Christ as we put to death the old self and put on the new self. We let go of the old and we resurrect with the new. That's right. Amen? Christians, Christians should be baptized out of obedience and love for our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Water baptism by immersion is the biblical method of baptism because it symbolizes it, 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 because the symbol is, is a symbolic representation of the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Think about that, church. God gave us the privilege to publicly demonstrate our faith in him. Amen. When you and I got baptized, and when you are getting baptized Sunday, we'll do. Amen? By getting baptized just like our Savior did. Understand the beauty of getting baptized, church. Come on. Come on. If you've been baptized, bring that to remembrance again. If you've been baptized already, understand that you have done a beautiful thing before Christ. You have testified that you died to the old and you're living for the new. And those of you that are getting baptized Sunday, Understand what you're doing. Thank you. Understand what you're about to do this Sunday morning. You are dying to yourself Amen. to live for Christ. You're dying to the old to live in the new. Right. By getting baptized, church, we become different person. And our, and our outer uh, uh, appearance should testify of what we just did or what you're just going to do. What a baptism is biblical and it's a beautiful experience to be part of. You and I have been baptized. Those of us that have been, right? We need to live like we've been baptized. We need to live knowing that we represent Christ, death, and resurrection. Those of you that are going to get baptized, look forward to what you're going to do. It's a beautiful thing that you are going to experience. Yes, it's a simple Dunking the water. But if you really look at the spiritual side of it, church, what it, what it symbolizes, what you're taking part of, resurrecting, uh, uh, burying the old, and resurrecting a, a new. Oh, Think about that, church. Yes. And you're old enough to understand what you're doing. Oh, See the difference? Yes. See the difference? You're old enough to understand what you are going to do Sunday. Thank Get excited you. about what you're going to do. Because Pat, once, once, what, once Sunday and you get baptized, you are going to be a new person. Amen. You're going to let go of the old, right? And wow. testify your life living yeah. in the new, right? He, God gave us a privilege uh, to publicly demonstrate our faith in him by getting baptized just like our Savior did. Listen, Jesus said this. Permitted to be so now, for the, thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. You and I that have been baptized, church, understand that we need to live like we have been baptized. We're a new creation in Christ. What we did biblically, right? Dunking ourselves in water, washing away the old, and resurrecting to new persons. That's something to celebrate. It does something to live for. And those of you that are getting baptized, man, I can't wait for that. To be part of what you're going to do. Let go of the old and live in the new. Amen? Amen? Can we stand, church? We're going to pray. We're going to pray. I'm going to ask those of you that are going to get baptized to come forward. We're going to pray for you, amen? Man, it's going to be a busy Sunday. Amen. <laughs> it's going to be a busy Sunday, man. This is powerful right here, church. Listen, look at, look, look at this. Look at this, church. 
Look at this. Look at this. Awesome. 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 Listen, guys. Understand what you're doing something. Understand what you're doing. You're doing something biblical. Understand what you are going to experience. You are being baptized. You are being, you're having the opportunity to wash your old sinful life away. And when you come out of the water, you're testifying of your new life in Christ. Listen, you're saved already, church. But you're publicly testifying that you are living for Christ. When you get baptized this Sunday, please understand the seriousness of what you're doing. Don't take it lightly. Don't take it lightly. You're being baptized to live for Christ. Let's pray. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the opportunity you have given us, Lord God, to come before you, to allow us to give us an understanding, Lord God, of, of what we're about to do, Father God, this Sunday. Father, each and every person that are getting baptized, Lord God, give them the understanding of what they're doing in you, Lord God. Father, fill them with your spirit, Lord God. Reveal to them, reveal to their hearts the importance and the significance of being baptized. Being resurrected, Lord God. Being washed away with their sins, Lord God, and living in a new life, Father. Father, I pray for each and every person that came to the altar, Lord God. That are, that are, that are being baptized this Sunday, Lord God. And for those that are not here, man, they're still going to get baptized. Because I think we have a pretty big list. I pray that you touch your hearts, Lord God. Father, let them understand the importance of what they're doing for you, Lord God. Let them understand that getting baptized is to live new for you, Lord God. To testify publicly, Lord God, of your goodness, of your mercy, and of your love. Father God, we thank you and we pray for each and every individual here tonight. For their understanding, to have an open heart and realize the importance of what they're doing this Sunday. Father, we give you praise, we give you glory. In Jesus, my name, and the church says, amen. amen and amen. All right, before you go back, before we're dismissed here, baptism is like a, like a powerful testimony. You guys can go back to your seats. Yeah. Okay, baptism is like a powerful testimony. Sometimes people want to share something before they're dunked into the waters. I know, I think I did. I said, don't hold me down too much. But It's a testimony that shouts louder than anything else. We're, we are placed under the water like Jesus was put into the earth, in the grave, in the tomb. And we're raised up. And sometimes there's some really powerful things that go on in people's lives. And when it does, we're grateful. We're gonna celebrate for every single person that gets baptized. Because, because it's public and it's done to testify to people, I am in Christ and Christ is in me. We still live in this flesh. That's why we do the baptism. Because our flesh needs to see us and hear us and also be part of the testimony that Christ is doing a new thing in my life. I'm a new creature in Christ. I know I look the same. I have the same battles that everybody else has. But that testimony of baptism gives us a power and authority as followers of Christ. So this Sunday is going to be a day of celebration. And we're glad. Those of you that sit up here, we're glad we're with you. We stand with you. We may have some testimonies that, that uh, morning, because um, that's usually with a crowd like that. Our baptism is everything. Uh, we may have some folks that may need to testify and share. I know I was glad. I gave God praise. I said I would not be here if it was not for the fact that God is a miracle-working God. So we're going to have a great weekend. Are you ready? All right, tomorrow night, Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday morning, come join us I guarantee you it's going to be an awesome, awesome encounter as we are a part of the 